Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle, actually, no, the beginning of the month of February. I do want to apologize for those of you guys that do follow our Tarot Lessons 101. Uh, we're going to go back on schedule this coming Sunday. I apologize. Uh, it's been a crazy beginning of the year, you guys. Uh, a lot of personal shit going on uh, within the family and business-wise, and it's just it's uh it's amazing but it's also been very crazy for me um but anyways we're going back on schedule again on sunday so i just wanted to let you guys know also we have a lot of restocks for the favorite soaps that you guys have been uh requesting and that they always sell out we're going back on stock uh in the beginning of march so just letting you guys know all right let's get into it how are you doing, Taurus? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. Um, how is this Venus retrograde treating you guys? Taurus, how is it treating you? It's been pretty crazy for me, to say the least. It is on my sign, Capricorn. Um, besides my ass wanting to just wake up one day and completely go uh, bonkers and decide to go bald. Uh <laughs> Perhaps not the best timing. It's freaking cold right now here in California. Anyways, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of February 2022? I'm going to put this back. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Maybe two. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the full card. This is the energy of new beginnings. For a lot of you guys, this is new endeavors. For some of you guys, a new opportunity. You're chasing a new project. Your next card is the three of one, sorry, the three of cups. A lot of celebratory type of energy. I do want to say, uh, Taurus, I'm getting the message to really try to gravitate towards friends and loved ones, people that keep you optimistic and positive, those that inspire you. It's going to be very important for this month of February um, because what I'm hearing is there's going to be a lot of opportunities. As you guys know, we did just recently go into uh, the South Node Scorpio and North Node Taurus. So this is definitely going to affect you in a positive way, Taurus. Take this momentum, take this energy, really it's transformative type of energy. So it's going to be crucial to maintain that optimistic uh, outlook in life and also to maintain or keep yourself um, really positive in regards to your achievements, your desires, what you're wanting to manifest in your life. Uh, it's crucial at this point right now. So again, uh, Three of Cups does talk about being surrounded by People that you trust, people that keep you grounded, people that motivate you and inspire you. All right, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Your first card here is the Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, King of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. I see you guys walking away from a situation where you have put a lot of effort um a lot of lo long hours for some of you guys. This could be in regards to career and finances. For others of you guys, this could be relationship wise. I feel like you've you've hit a you've hit a cap at this point in regards to how um, far this relationship or this connection can go. For those of you guys that have been putting very long hours at work, uh, putting a lot of effort and a lot of energy. A lot of the times when we are, when we have great potential, we're going to be propelled. Life is going to put situations in our life to wake us up, to realize this is not what I want. And this, this other thing is what I want or what I'm looking for. Only to be able to realize with clarity what it is that you're looking for or what it is that you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to um, achieve. And within this realization, of course, it's going to take for you, uh, Taurus, to do some things maybe out of your comfort zone to push yourself to, because I see you guys very like bored in the routine or in the mundane. And this could be work, this could be family, this could be uh, your home life, this could be relationship wise. But I feel you guys like being very much in your head because you're feeling stuck and you're feeling 
almost like anxious because you are unhappy at this point um, in your life. But at the same time, it's like you're kind of hoping for a miracle. And what Spirit is telling you is it's going to take for you to shake things up, Taurus. If you're in a relationship and you're no longer happy or you're no longer um, fulfilled, you're not being satisfied in this connection, are you going to continue sacrificing yourself just for the sake of the relationship? Or are you going to step up and say, you know what, uh, if this person, because I feel like the person that you may be dealing with is also gotten to a point where they're just complacent. So no one's really making a move. Um, it's just like we're just comfortable the way it is. And what Spirit is telling you is this is bringing to you a lot of a lot of feeling of unsatisfaction, feeling of frustration. So what they're telling you is you got to make a move. You have to you can rely on other people because it's easier if they make the decision. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is grab the bull by its horns do like be so unapologetic for this month of February uh, Taurus and for the coming months. Keep in mind the North and South note may like they remained in those signs for the next 18 months. So wherever it is that you're wanting to go, whatever it is that you're wanting to do or to achieve, you will be able to achieve that. But you have to make those choices, those hard decisions. And what they're telling you is if you no longer want to be stuck, follow your heart and listen to your intuition, because this is what's going to guide you to your ultimate your ultimate manifestation, whatever that may mean, may mean to you, whether it's relationships, whether it's having that job, whether it's going solo and starting your own business. It's not going to be easy as what they're telling you, but you will succeed. You have to make the move. No, it, there's no time right now for like, we'll see what happens. You have to make shit happen, Taurus. And do not be scared. Because again, there's almost a feeling of frustration because there's frustration in regards to uncertainty. But what they're telling you is once you get the ball rolling, once you start making decisions and become unapologetic and really be your true authentic self, not only is the world going to open up for you, but you're going to be led to success, whether it's a successful relationship, unionship, partnership, um, business, career, uh, business move for some of you guys. It, what they're telling you is stop, you know, stop keeping yourself from greatness, Taurus. That's going to be your challenge for this month. I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.